Okay, well, uh, to start this video, I'm just going to talk about a couple of changes that I made since the last one. Uh, they're, they're not really big changes, but my handle, my handle was a little bit loose, and uh, I, I, want, I didn't really like that. So what I did was, instead of having this washer up next to here, which uh, created slop in the whole thing, uh, because my 3 8 hole that I drilled here, uh, I guess just the width right there is just not enough. It, it didn't have enough support. It made it really floppy. Uh, but I added this half inch tube, which is 3 8 inside diameter, and uh, it fits really tight against the, the rod. So uh, I ran it through, and now I have no slop. I built it just like I did the other, but I have no slop in it. So that works great now. It's good and tight. It stays where I put it. Uh, it's easy to open. It's easy to close. And it, it doesn't rattle around. Another thing I did, uh, a suggestion on my firebox, when I built my firebox, was to uh, that I, I might need to support it with a, with a brace from the stand. And I thought this was an excellent idea. And, uh, and so I did. I cut a piece of the two, same tube that I used on the frame. Well, no, I didn't. This is an inch and a half tube. But it's, uh, it's still eighth inch wall. And, uh, yeah, and I, you know, cut, cut it out and mounted it up under there. So, uh, let's see. I don't know if you can actually see that. But it's up under there, and it really supports that thing really good. I don't think I'll ever have to worry about this thing trying to rattle and shake off of here. But anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, we're fixing to get on these grates and get this thing, try to get this thing finished up pretty quick. All right. Well, it's really windy today, but I'm going to try to get uh, my grate built. And uh, it's going to be the, the bottom grate. I may come back later and put in a top grate once I get some uh, materials but uh, today I'm, I'm gonna concentrate on this bottom grate here um, and all I've done is I measured up in the corner I measured up here down to the plate and uh, same thing over here got my mark and then I just I drew a parallel line all the way down so now uh, I've got to measure this out and find out how long my angle my angle iron needs to be and uh, get her fit in there all right This wheel's like out of balance or off or something. It's got a, a few bad places on the edges. So uh, it's no good anymore. I don't want to use that on a grinder. It'll end up through my face or something. So I'm going to break it. So I'll, I'll never be tempted to use it again. All right, just a little safety thing there. Well, I got them all cut, and uh, they're they're ready to go in. I just gotta clean off, clean off the rust and stuff out here, and get this cleaned up. Get it ready to tack up. I'm just gonna tack it until I get the grate put in. Make sure everything everything is uh, good to go. So, all right. Well, I'm just gonna start cleaning this up a little bit and get this going. Okay, well I'm just going to try to get these tacked in 
and uh, and then I'll square them up to the back. <clears throat> we'll just kind of see how it goes. tack's probably going to break, but I'll, I'll worry about that in a few minutes. Okay, well the final dimension of my grate should end up 47 3 quarter by 29 and 3 eighths. So it's, it's right at 48 by 30. We're really close. It's gonna be a big grate. All right, well, I'm gonna get started cutting these pieces and uh, see if I can make this thing. Double check my dimensions before I finish tacking this thing down and make sure. Seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. Twenty-nine and three eighths. Very good, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and tack this and I'll measure that. Six and one eighth. Fifty six and one sixteenth. <laughs> I'm going to call that square. All right, man, that fits great. <laughs> great. Yep, fits really good. Now I can weld everything in, and uh, 
and weld this frame up and then I'll get my expanded metal on it yeah I wanted to put uh, I put that angle in there just for support and uh, same with this tube on the grate uh, I just I didn't want this thing sagging but there we go all right ready to weld it up Very good. Fits in there nice. Very nice. I like it a lot. Alright, once I get my expanded metal, that'll be done. Okay, well, just cut my expanded metal to go on here and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, weld it down. And uh, I'm going to weld every, every joint I'm, uh, uh, because I don't know, I, I just, I don't like any of these things sticking out. Plus, this is sitting on top of a tube. If it was inside angle, you know, it would be different. I wouldn't worry about it. But with it sitting on top of, a, of the tube, uh, you know, I don't want, want it to be able to snag somebody's hand or something like that. So, uh, you know, I'm just... Getting ready to clean this up, you know, around the edges and all, so I can get a good weld on it. And, uh, yeah. Then we're gonna get her done. Get my ear protection on. And just start cleaning this up some. I'm gonna get started tacking this thing down. I've got the ends and all cleaned so I can weld it. And uh, yeah, well, I'm just gonna get started. I'm just gonna tack it in several places before I actually start welding it down. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna hold it down while I do. I'm going to hit all the corners first. And the middles.
All right, well, I just cut these angle pieces two inches wide and uh, I think it's an inch and a half by two and a half. But anyway, they're gonna go on the edges down here so that you can pull the grade out without it actually falling. And uh, yeah, I had, I had other ones on there already, but I had to cut them off because I put them on before I did the uh, before I did the expanded metal. So I had to cut them off. But now I've got actually I like these better. These are uh, about two and a half by one and a half or something something like that. Anyway, they're a lot bigger than the ones that I had, so they'll 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 weld on better. But all right, I'm gonna get started on that. Get these things tacked on and get them welded in. All right, that's got both of them tacked down. And they're just tacked right now. Probably gonna come back and cut a little bit of it off so that they hang in a little bit too far. But, let's see if it works. Uh, uh oh, Bro broke a tack. Figured I would. But, all right, that'll work. Get it welded back in. Well, all right. It's got them all welded in. Really good. Don't have to worry about the, uh, don't have to worry about the grate falling if somebody goes to pull it out, as long as they don't pull it too far. Uh, works great. Right about there. And that should hold. Should hold fine. Got her handle made out of quarter inch bar. It's good to go. Okay, well, one suggestion that uh, that I had on uh, one of my videos was uh, putting a trailer hitch or a handle on this thing to help pull it. Well, I had intended on putting a handle right here in the middle uh since the very beginning but i like the i like the sound of a trailer hitch even better so i'm gonna i'm gonna come down to this bar down here it's on the i'm calling it the front of the smoker i'm gonna come out of the middle of that with a trailer hitch and uh what i'm gonna build it out of is this uh, this angle? I'm gonna build it out of this angle iron here, and the main tongue is gonna be what's left of my of my uh, framing tubing, which is a uh, two inch. It's two inch square tubing, and it's uh, eighth inch wall. And my hinge point is gonna be uh, this five eighths rod. All right, well, let's get started. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to look nice and be very strong. All right. Sweet. Yeah, I like that. Well, that should be able to hinge plenty good. All right, I can't get my camera in there around my drill press, but what, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut, uh, cut holes here, 
here and, and through the tube to see if I can match them all together. All right, well, I'll be back once I get these holes and all done. break anything. Maybe you can see how that's tied in. It's just a cotter pin. 
another 5 8 pin. Alright. Give it a try, see? Works great. <laughs> kind of tears up the yard a little bit though, but it's okay. I'm gonna have about 20 tons of gravel brought out here. But it, uh, the little trailer hitch works great. The little trailer hitch works great. Great, 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 great. Pock them over running out of gas. I turn the fuel off to it. Uh, carburetor leaks by just a little bit. Uh, so you know, I run the fuel out of it every time I use it. But uh, yeah, man, the uh, old trailer here works great. Drag it, you know, drag it around out here in the driveway. Or they leave it go through mud and stuff. Uh, they leave it go through mud and stuff. Even, you know, with. Uh, with the with the Carlisle super lugs, uh, it, they don't tear the yard up near as much as these little skinny wheels. But I believe I'm going to end up changing those anyway. I'm going to go to the the eight inch uh, inflatable. Uh, they seem to be working really good on my welding cart, even though it's not near as heavy as this. But they are rated for, you know. Uh, uh, the wheels should be able to handle it, or the caster should be able to handle it. But I'm going to probably swap them out. Uh, it may not be in this project, but I'm going to swap them out. Um, I had a suggestion to uh, put this thing on a trailer, and man, I wish I could. If I had the money for a trailer or to build one, I would be all over that. But I don't have the money for a trailer, and I don't have the money to build one, at least right now. So, uh, so it's on these casters. Uh, it, it's not hard to move around if you've got a lawnmower now, but you can't hardly budge it uh, by yourself, at least out here in this area. But anyway, uh, got that done, all the grates finished, all of that. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna try to go ahead and get this video up. The next one will be the smokestack. I'm, I got to go get my material for it tomorrow, and uh, getting really close. Then I'm gonna have to start thinking about painting it and seasoning it and all of that good stuff. So, uh, but I'm also gonna go around and put gussets in, 
my gussets here and now I'm going to reinforce the trailer hitch with gussets and, uh, and just start grinding everything and getting everything ready for paint. My paint's already came in and uh, ready to go with it. I hope y'all had. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Uh, and I'll see y'all on the next one.